everybody, welcome to Jordan's Film Quest. Today's adventure isn't necessarily filming related, but I am in fact, however, a fan of the rap genre music. And I was in the area and I thought I would pay my respects to rapper Mac Miller. Now, supposedly, allegedly, he is laid to rest here at the Homewood Cemetery and I'm gonna attempt to find where he is laid to rest at. I'm not sure there are a lot of rumors and speculations regarding his death. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about his story and what's going on here. So let's check it out. So right there is one of the gates to the cemetery. And I do believe that they keep those closed, making it only one way in and one way out to the cemetery. However, I am around section 18 of the cemetery now right up on top of this hill is apparently where mac miller is laid to rest i'm not confirming and i'm not denying that he is up on this hill and this is the jewish part of the cemetery and mac miller was Jewish himself. Now there are a couple other sources floating around the internet here that have been to this specific location and have pointed out some other grave markers around the area to be able to find where he is laid to rest and one of them right here is the f-u-c-h-s headstone this barnett one right here and this myers one and online if you go and look for pictures you will find a headstone with a black circle in it, which would have been somewhat right here. Now there is a spot where the headstone was. Now it's, it's kind of sad that the family would have to remove the headstone, but at the same time, I can see their point of view because they don't want people coming up here and trashing it and whatnot because there has been photos and videos of people leaving, what are those, roaches, like joints of weed and bottles of empty alcohol. Malcolm McCormick, also known as Mac Miller, born January 19th, 1992 in the Point Breeze neighborhood of Pittsburgh. His mother is Jewish and his father is Christian, but he and his brother were raised Jewish. He was a self-taught musician learning to play drums, piano, guitar, and bass all at the age of six. And then by 15 is when he really started getting serious about his rap career. So things that I have read online is that if you stand right here at the top of the hill, that Mac's mother still lives in this general area where Mac grew up in the same house. And he is a Pittsburgh native. And he has that quote that he made about circles and coming back around. But I do think that when the headstone was here, it was a homage to his album called Circles. And there is also 
rumors going around that the Myers headstone right there in the middle of your screen, the spelling on it has been changed uh, because his mother's last name is Myers. Now they're all in a row and there's like McConnon behind that. It's, it's all alphabetical. So he would have been right here in this general area. So being here at this moment in time, I kind of feel really upset. Like I was okay when I came up here, but the more that I stand here and think about the situation, like just the more upset that I get. Now don't get me wrong, Mac Miller had some great, great albums. He was extremely talented and he was taken way too soon. It, it's truly, truly sad and it's upsetting. And I can definitely relate to losing somebody over a drug overdose because there was a, uh, my brother's best friend growing up that I was around a lot. He passed away a year or two ago from a drug overdose and it's just, it's crazy to think about. It's, it's honestly extremely sad and, you know, people, they need the help and if they're trying to reach out, we, we gotta help them. As I was looking online for photos and videos of the final resting place here, I did see one that after the headstone had been taken down, that people were leaving roses and other things here, but there's nothing here except that patch of dirt. Nobody has left anything. Like I said, this supposedly is where he's laid to rest. Now, I don't want anybody to say that this is where I said that he is laid to rest. This is, it could be true, it might not be true. Nobody honestly really knows, but when you put all of the evidence together, it leads to here. So. I hope nobody quotes me on this and accuses me, but I'm not 100% sure that this is Mac Miller's final resting place. On September 7th, 2018, he was found unresponsive in his studio city home in Los Angeles by his personal assistant, in which the assistant tried to perform CPR until paramedics arrived. He was scheduled for a video shoot later that same day and was even beginning his swimming tour later in October. Unfortunately, Mac Miller passed away from an accidental overdose. By September 11th, fans held a vigil for Mac Miller at the Blue Slide Park, which was his inspiration for his debut album. So as I'm walking around here, I can't help but to notice this little... corner kind of tucked away and it's got the Star of David on it Jewish religion and like I said Mac Miller was of Jewish religion himself so we are definitely in the right area all right guys this is my conclusion for trying to find the final resting place of rapper Mac Miller, like I said, I can neither confirm nor deny him being laid to rest here, but as I had found online, a lot of the evidence leads me to believe that he is here. With that being said, I'm gonna end things here. And if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, and I'll see you guys next time on Jordan's Film Quest.